back to FS22 and Calmston Farm. So since the last time you saw me, I did eventually finish mowing all of that grass and we have over half a million litres of chaff in the pit that still needs levelling. Uh, we are not going to get to that straight away because we do have the issue that we don't have. Didn't have last time I checked, probably still don't have any harvesting contracts to get some straw. So we do need to deal with that um, and the plan is to buy a field to harvest. Um, before I get into that, so what I have done, um, I, I enabled channel membership a little while ago and I have a couple of channel members now. Um, and so if you become a channel member at the moment, you may appear in the game as a landowner. Um, so we have Smock Farmer here, and I don't think Just Dad Adams has popped up in here yet. Um, but what I'm also doing, while the numbers are really small, is I have the Helper Administrator mod on, which is that button. And you can also appear as a worker in the game. So it has this weird thing that has a minimum of six, and it splits them 50-50 between men and women. I might have a look in the... Uh, in the settings to see if we can change that because most people that watch the channel are men so uh, yeah so there is a chance that you'll appear as a worker in the game and as a landowner that i may work for when i'm doing contracts uh, let's just have a quick look at our cows as well they uh, could do with some more food but i'm going to go with their okay we've got a little bit of milk produced um we do have some bales but we'll get to that later we need to look at a field to buy to um, get some straw and do some harvesting because this is the last day of harvest for all of the grain crops so what do we have on the map I'm, it's probably going to be field six if we're honest um, it's probably going to be field six yeah because those other two fields are going to be stupidly expensive yeah so we need to try and see if we can borrow probably 400,000 we should be able to do that um maybe let's uh let's go through and see so today's video is going to be me harvesting this crop it's not going to be a time travel video like the last one because basically i need to get some videos recorded fairly quickly so it's going to be a nice reasonable length intro to this one and then we are going to get stuck into some harvesting that's our loan maxed out at 500,000 don't like maxing out the loan so quickly but hey we can probably pay some back so we're going to buy the field we need to get ourselves a combine we leased the baler and returned it so we probably need to get a baler and there's going to be some animal bits we need to get the windrower is leased um, so i've got the real dirt mod on as well so you can see we have some green dirt on the tractors we need a trailer as well money's going to be pretty tight actually i think so let's jump in the ford we'll uh, make our way up to the store Ooh, that's loud um looks like we've got all my gears on at the moment or not uh, we'll make our way up to the store and return the windrower we need to buy a trailer for our grain crop we're in kilometers an hour and euros um talking about this on Argsy's stream this morning when uh, it would be really cool if you could link currency and units to a save game um, hopefully I won't find that I've crashed into something doing this we want miles and we want pounds there we go so yeah we have brought ourselves field six what I'm going to do is actually is something that I said I would do in the last video I think in the voiceover it towards the end um, and I've been catching up on VF's realism experience and he's doing something similar I'm going to split that field into smaller fields probably just two I think he's doing three um, because I want to get a grain crop in there for straw and some corn in there for silage uh, planning ahead for maize plus so we can get some maize silage and we'll want some grain for mixing into the TMR and straw for the cows obviously so that's the plan for that um been messing around with the uh the cow pasture that's going to go into field eight but not got that all sorted yet so and we don't really need to worry about it too much at the moment 
game feels really loud. I'll, I'll do some editing in uh, in the edit to sort the sound out for you guys. Drop that off and return it. That was too quiet, actually. Uh, so I've had that least for a little while. So let's return that. Um, we need to buy ourselves a trailer and a combine. And we'll lease the baler again, I think. It's a shame we didn't get any harvesting contracts this year. Obviously, that would have solved their issue. We're going to go for the old New Holland. Uh, I think this is a Giants mod. Um, not going to get anything fancy on it. Not going to get... Not going to, so if you remember on the Fiat, I paid five grand to use the GPS in VCA. We're not going to be doing that either. Uh, I'm going to buy that guy. I have no idea where we're going to put it on the farm. 20 grand. Oh, jeez. We are going to need to do some contracting. We are seriously going to need to do some contracting. Hopefully I have a cheap trader installed. Not seeing the trailer I was planning to use. I think we need to quickly jump out and install that. So I'll be back with you in a second. Hopefully this will now appear in the store for us. I should have checked before I started recording, but I didn't. There we go. Massive Ferguson trailer. Um, we'll stick with the base capacity. And we'll put our number plate on there. And we're going to go for the now infamous disturbed plate, which is available on a mug if you would like it. Link below. Doesn't look quite so good on a plate like that. But... And we're going to buy that and we are back to being pretty much broke. I suspect we're going to have to do some contracting to even be able to afford to lease the baler. Now the good thing is that in FS22 straw doesn't disappear so um, there is that. And hopeful that we can attach the header trailer to the combine so i am going to get one of the uh, guys from the store to run the ford back down to our farm while we jump in the combine and, uh, and get this header on the trailer and then get stuck into harvesting nice thing is as i'm sure most of you do know this farm has a silo so you don't have to cart it too far to get it in store not even sure what crops in the field wheat perfect i should be able to use some of that in our tmr i think I'm pretty sure this is the Giants TX32 that um, they released. It was a staple, obviously, in FS19. We're not going to get around that corner like that, are we? Come on. So, regulars will have noticed that I have had a bit of a break, and if you're on Discord, you will know some of why. I've been very stressful, and uh, but yeah, had a reasonable break from doing very much at all with FS type stuff, and just not had the time to record content. So it will be starting from when I've recorded this. It's going to be a few days before videos start to drop. So uh, still on Discord, still chatting to folks on there. And, uh, not sure if our tractor's got stuck up here, or if it's just going incredibly slowly maybe incredibly slowly probably because of the gearboxes uh, while we're driving back we can take the opportunity to check how i have the gearboxes set on here if i can find gearboxes really don't know my way around the options at the moment and i've crashed 
Brilliant. Let's just stop and sort out all our settings. I should do this beforehand, but obviously I haven't. Vehicle control. I wonder if I've not got the option up because this hasn't got gear. There we go, gear shift manual. No. Change direction, gear shift mode, manual. Cool. Right. Yeah, the Ford's just incredibly slowly making its way back, and that's the reason that I have worker wages for auto drive set on 50% because they just tend to waste a little bit of time, and we can't afford to be paying them for wasted time. I'm really not comfortable with the maxed out life at all. But we've got some nice contracts available that big cultivating contract for smock which we could take on borrow his tractor and uh, get ourselves some capital i think that would be a really good idea once we've got this field harvested probably before we worry about doing anything with the straw see we are fixed on times five so we may run out of time for doing that cultivating contract today um, if i am finding that I'm struggling with the time to get things done in the day what we will be doing is rather than you know, we're doing eight miles an hour rather than changing the time multiplier we'll add a day into the month and we'll go up to three day months and park the board up along here and um, if you've seen my uh real life versus fs video of calmston this is pretty much private track anyway so there's not going to be any traffic coming along here we'll actually pull off to the side so we've got room to bring the combine down switch that off i would normally just tab it back but i am going to tab because this is a worker related issue rather than a uh a tabbing to get us around the map quicker we will put park vehicle back on on the combine because my plan is to harvest this myself to save some money on worker fees it's suddenly become we're broke but we've got a big field right. we'll have to work on getting some contracts done after this to be able to get the baler get the straw all bailed up and into cover really need to get those bales off of the trailer so yeah i think we're looking at get the harvest done get some contracts done to get some cash get the baling done this is all it's probably gonna be a few episodes destroy some crop so we can really afford to do that can't we um get the baling done, get all the bales storage sorted, we need to get the silage compacted um, and we're probably going to be selling some of that silage I think because we don't need half a million litres for the number of cows that we have um, we've got straw swath enabled we have um, so yeah get the silage compacted get it fermented get some silage sold get some more money in and work on getting that loan back down you might have needed to keep that wind rower actually no oh, well. um in terms of turning this field around and planting stuff because i am running my geo i can plant wheat in the spring we may end up doing that or some barley with seasons light you don't have to worry about crop rotation which is kind of cool um, we probably will rotate crops anyway just from a realism point of view but i think we could hold off and do all our planting in the spring um we're going to be doing beets which are a spring crop anyway corn which is spring and whichever of wheat barley and oats we do we can do in the spring so i think that's probably going to be the plan just to get ourselves on a better footing financially 
Um, getting you know, maybe half of that silage sold will really help us out. Probably going to have to be a regular thing selling silage, actually, because we've only got the one silage clamp. Uh, may have to get into doing bales in the future for that. Uh, particularly once we're doing maize plus, and we'll have maize silage and grass silage uh, and grass hay um, with maize plus. We won't be getting extra crops with it because it's a script, a global script mod. So um, there are no um, maize plus ready maps or horse extension maps or anything like that coming. Um, all of the maps should be capable of running maize plus because by default they have enough height types, um, and so it will be down to mappers to add in those crops and for the mappers to make sure the crops have the correct fill type names to match up with maize plus. Um, I'm expecting that once mappers start having maps for things like clover and alfalfa on them, that will fairly quickly ripple through and standardize, hopefully. Uh, you will be able to buy clover and alfalfa and horse grass silage and hay and those kind of things in bale form in the store through Maze Plus, so you will be able to use them. You'll just have to buy them um, or maybe role play something around getting them. Uh, and we'll be getting all of the um, the mineral feed and all that kind of thing and all the flexibility to change animal feeding that we know and love um, if you're really really keen and want to get a head start on that um, a go and watch some of my maze plus videos but if you're into you know kind of tinkering with the game and stuff then um, is it Westby Wisconsin um, which is released through, I think through Facebook or itch.io, um, has in it its own custom animal feed and animal data files, and you could take those and start to edit them yourself. Um, speaking to Casa Farms on my Discord, he has done some of that, and looking in the map, yeah, you could, you could jump in and if you were really desperate, get some of that stuff going yourself. You'd have to edit the map to read those files, but yeah, you could give that a go if you really wanted. I'm going to wait for Maze Plus, um, partly because being a farming agency partner, it would feel slightly wrong to uh, just try and shortcut it. So, I'm going to wait for Maze Plus, and uh, really looking forward to getting stuck into that. Hopefully, in the coming weeks, maybe. Um, I guess it depends how long, I don't even know if it's been submitted to Giants yet and whether the Maze Plus guys will have to do the two to three week wait like most people or whether it'll get the uh, Oxy treatment and jump the queue, who knows, we will see. The sooner the better in my mind, but I know the alien pool has been ill with the C word, so probably slowed things down a little bit in terms of getting out to us I think he's on the mend he claims to have got his sense of taste back but he still likes pineapple on pizza so I'll let you be the judge as to whether he has any taste or not so yeah I think we're just going to now get stuck into churning through the harvest I know I'm going around the field the wrong way with the auger on the wrong side that was kind of half intentional um, I think it's what they may be doing in the real world. I'll be turning around before we get into the next headland because, in fact, I'll probably empty into the trailer where it's parked up because we're over 50% full and so it would be sensible to not start another headland because I am working as a lone farmer today, so as little jumping in and out of the combine and the tractor as possible is probably a good thing. So rather than carrying on around to a second headland we'll uh, pull up here and then just stick the auger over the end of the trailer so I was looking at using the field leasing mod but I literally installed it as I was about to start and uh, couldn't get my head around which fields it was letting me lease because the price for field 6 didn't match up with the price for the farmland that it was saying was field 6 and when I leased it it didn't show that I owned field 6 so I need to have a better look at that mod and, uh, 
I really I liked using the NFS 19 so I do need to get my head around it because for a series like this if I could lease a field that would be much better um, particularly you know we wouldn't have got ourselves in a situation where now we can't borrow any more money um, and we have a whole load of kit that we need still and we don't even have so we don't even have the baler to bail this straw up we don't have anything to level and compact our silage with um, and we need all the field working kit so we have a lot we need and we have no option now for making for raising cash through a loan um, we've got the cows obviously they are starting to produce a tiny bit of milk um, we've got the young beef cow that we brought to raise which we can sell but we need going to need to wait you know, a good few months before they're worth thinking about selling even though we sure are short of cash um, but it's going to be contract work we're going to be contracting through the winter probably doing a bunch of cultivating and plowing and stuff how much of that i'll show i'm not sure i may show just a subset as we work our way through the winter I don't know how long it's going to take me to harvest this field as to whether we're going to get done through the day. And something that I think I have forgotten to do, um, which was on my mind and I just have not done it, is if, like me, you were running Oxy's new Seasons Tree Textures and you did the update, I'm guessing that the 8K textures have been overwritten. Um, so I'll probably need to go back in and install those because those were an edit to the base game files rather than the map files and quite a lot of those were overwritten and updated with the 1.3 update so we'll have a look at that at some point um, probably before this comes out I will have released the videos on the drive laner and the cell price trigger two mods that I will be using on here and will be using on quite a few saves I think um, have a video coming up I have done a revisit of whether chickens are still as profitable as they were in my most profitable animals series got that coming out soon um, have done the fast growth geo video and working on a geo for the southern hemisphere um, need to get that have got that written need to get that tested um, that is including changes to grapes and olives. I have had a request from Smock Farmer to uh, update the the fast growth geo to include grapes and olives. And once I get my head around that, I'll probably do that as well. Um, I have not touched grapes or olives at all. I need to for testing the the Southern Hemisphere geo because I've had to swap everything around and because they are upside down. And so I do need to do that testing and that will hopefully give me enough information to uh, think about how to tweak it. But one of the interesting things from driving around, not in strictly Calmston, but driving around the area um, up in the Cotswolds, there were some signs for vineyards. So clearly growing grapes in that part of the UK is possible. I know grapes are grown in bits of the UK. I'm not entirely sure where they all are. But that is maybe something we could look at really long term on here. Obviously, we can't do it when we're broke. But maybe long term we could look at doing some uh, nice Cotswolds wine, maybe. Um, I'd quite like to see apples come into the game. Um, and then some cider, maybe. Yeah. Um, so we had in 19 the apple trees that were part of the global company productions mod that came with the uh, the honey and the bees and stuff um, it'd be really cool to have something like that like an apple or you're using the productions and the greenhouses I'm sure if, I mean, maybe we don't have it already maybe we do an apple orchard as a placeable um, if, if it wasn't apple trees an apple orchard placeable would be quite cool um, that produced pallets of apples uh, yeah, that would be quite cool I think so I think at this point, because I've been rambling for quite a long time, we'll get stuck into the time lapse a bit of the video and uh, get this harvest done and then see about some contracting depending on where we are time wise. It might end up being more than two game days because so I spent a lot of time and part of the morning of this game day getting that silage in the pit. 
I kind of wish I hadn't started that massive task. It would probably be more sensible to do bales for all of that and lease a bale stacker. I wouldn't have manually loaded all those bales. We might long term look at using the extractor on here. It's another thing that I have never used. And I think that lets you put bigger bales through it than a, side, than a standard bale wrapper. Um, just so we can get some big silage bales on here. Because we have a lot of grass. I'm still contemplating ploughing in one of those areas and using it for arable crops. I would still be interested here if people have an opinion on that. As to whether it's a bit too cheaty to use free land for planting arable crops. I don't have an issue with using it for grass work. I explained that in I think the first video that I see it as managing the land for the local authorities and keeping the grass under control. But yeah, we're going to do a bunch of headlands because we're going to need some room to turn around. This thing turns like a boat. Probably need to empty before we get onto that next headland because we're 70% full. And yeah, I definitely feel like it's time lapse time. So future me there will be no future past past future future me it will just be future me will be with you to uh get through the rest of this video catch you in a bit well you rambled on for long enough didn't you anyway let's get into speeding this up just a little bit um turns out this video covers a couple of days in game and is really rather long um, sorry about that i got a bit carried away with uh wanting to get stuff done because i love playing on this map and because at the moment i'm only making one video a week it doesn't feel like i get to play it enough so uh yeah i got kind of carried away and you'll see from how long the video is that we end up doing a couple of days i'm really really thinking that we need to extend it to three day months because the days feel really very short playing on times five i don't know why i used to play on times five a lot on fs19 but they feel very short Maybe it's because the fields are so big. Um, so it won't take effect until we move into winter, but I do click it up to three day months. Um, might be okay once we get past this phase, I'm not sure. But it feels like we're struggling already and we only have one field and a small number of cows. And that's been the case all the way through, really, with getting the silage done and stuff. If, if we had that extra day in the month, it would be less of a challenge to get things done um, so probably going to implement that at some point and we'll probably aim to do like one and a half days per video in the long term um, someone asked on it was on scross discord actually about um, the lands mode with cosplay and uh, i don't know if you watch my videos or not but um i, I even without using cosplay i tend to harvest using a lands style anyway just because it's helped keep keep the auger in to the uh, open part of the field um, which you know not quite often doing something like this i'd have auto drive set up to cart for me and that would mean that the auto drive carter could quite easily come in and empty the combine for us at pretty much any point except that one row that you're cutting in to start your new land um, i do end up doing it slightly to try to get a uh, thumbnail up there I end up doing it slightly differently when I'm driving myself because I tend to make the lands too big and so once I get most of the way through doing it I'll swap to go around the outside of one of the chunks so for example this section on the right I, uh, I do eventually switch to going around the outside of that until that's harvested and don't really need to worry about keeping the auger out because I'm manually unloading and most of the time when I'm paying attention I can do that at the end of a row first trailer full I uh, at some point seem to have switched off the trailer fill in it but when I turn it back on it doesn't actually matter for this trailer because it seems to be designed to hold a full car full trailer of grain anyway so assuming it's got the weight limit implemented don't know um, although I do uh, we do pick up a harvesting contract in uh, the next game day and the the base game Rudolph trailers that are supplied with that also can take full loads of grain which is really cool um, it seems that most of the trailers that i end up using in the past could not do that so uh, yeah i'd always thought that trailers just couldn't take full loads of most crops and actually they can so that's good to know so you can see here we are switching to going around the outside of the uh, remaining land on this side of the field 
recorded a fairly hefty chunk of continuous harvesting here and got stuck in the hedgerow. So that's that's what I've done, just creating a new land here. And again, I, I've gone too big, um, particularly for a four meter header. Should probably have looked at um, maybe having a keeping if we'd kept the windrower, it would probably help. My my rule with windrow as to whether it's worth windrowing is we need to be pulling in three rows for it to be worth it really because otherwise you've still got to drive around the field just as much pretty much because if you're sucking in two rows you're only halving the amount of time you're going to spend bailing but you've already then driven around the field once so um, for this combine we'd probably be looking at wanting like a nine meter wind drop to pull in those three rows of, uh, of straw i think it's nine meters four meters each side plus a bit for my dodgy driving yeah we did and end up um, leasing a baler and just going around each of the rows don't get that finished this video because it's quite a lot of quite a big field <laughs> amusing me I, I i was thinking about how i've been split build up and uh, been catching up a bit more on the apps uh, and realism experiment and it almost looks like he's going to do the same thing except he's still going for three fields i'm going for two uh, but I was looking at splitting it in the direction that I'm harvesting at the moment, probably about halfway across, um, I think. And he's done something similar, but he's gone for not quite halfway, and then he's doing two fields out of the remainder. So we will see. I missed the combine getting full at that point. I was, uh, yeah, I guess, probably doing some, not paying attention. It's quite weird not using any sort of gps and we, we have progressed a bit because it was getting quite dark and calmston does get really dark um one of the things that oxy seems to have done is made the night properly night unlike a lot of the giants maps don't really get properly dark calmston gets properly dark so uh, we do end up skipping a chunk of harvesting and uh, once it gets too dark i'll just show you the end result of uh, where we get to with harvesting and then we'll progress to the next day where we're going to do a sunflower harvesting contract and we're going to at the same time try and get on with baling our field as well and we still have that pit full of silage to sort chaff at the moment i really do regret not compacting that as i went i used to be really good at um, i think it's probably lack of experience and not having done a big pit like that in 22 um, when I was doing this equivalent series in 19, I would always compact with the trailer as I was unloading or the loading wagon because that just makes life so much easier if you're keeping it in sort of the high 80s, 70s, 80s for compaction. Um, whereas I believe that is down at about 20% compacted at the moment, so we've got a long way to go. Um, we do need to look at leasing a roller and maybe a leveler, and we need to buy a bucket at some point for dealing with stuff like that. And loading the feeding wagon which we haven't brought yet it's getting properly dark now I um, have had the announcement since I recorded the intro to this and I'm now doing voiceover that precision farming is coming in April which is really cool I'm looking forward to that I haven't read all of the details yet I have just kind of skimmed the post um, bit of chat in the Maze Plus Discord about it being fairly simplified compared to 19. I've not read the details to comment on that yet, but hopefully not. That harvest is done. We've got best part of 60,000 litres of wheat off of that field, uh, which is going to be a nice payday. We'll probably keep some for mixing into the TMR. Um, and I had forgotten to enable the sell price trigger, so we'll jump out of the game, sleep through the night, activate a sell price trigger on that and uh, wait for that to fire off need to give the cows a couple of bales of hay we still don't have silage obviously or a feed mixer to do tmr um, but we'll get to that at some point it should be good for a while so let's head up to the store and we will pick up our harvesting contract i was expecting to be doing a plowing or cultivating or seeding contract but Harvesting on field 30 for sunflowers had cropped up. This turned into a big job. Um, the header that they give with the combine is not huge. 
Uh, we could have probably done with the biggest sunflower head that we can get, and we certainly don't have that. So we're going to leave the Ford there, get the Lexian over to the field, and then we will come back and pick up the tractor. And there we go. There was a bit of tabbing involved. Um, I would have used auto drive to do some of that, but I don't have network set up to get over to this field. So we uh, we did tab up to get back to the tractor. And we can use course plate to run the combine. Um, sunflowers take a very long time to fill up. So my plan is that we will um, cart with the fen and then as you can see, run backwards and forwards and get other jobs done. So turns out we can borrow a bit more money because of the land we've bought. So we're going to lease a roller and a leveler and the brand that shall not be named Baylor um, because that lets us make 180 centimeter straw bales which will be cool. So we'll use auto drive to send the fence back to the farm. We'll take the Ford back. The fence shouldn't have the issues with gearboxes because it's got a Vario transmission so it should be able to run back at full speed. And we'll have a little play with compacting the pit. Yeah, we're at 25%. The uh, the leveler is not great, if I'm honest. Um, it's the first time I've used this little leveler and it doesn't seem particularly effective. I think what we really want is a bucket on the front loader. Um, but we've at least got all of the chaff in the pit and we're gonna run the, uh, the leveler over it a bit, maybe. Um, so between one of the recording sessions on here, I installed the vehicle inspector mod so that I can keep an eye on when the combine is filling up. But we're gonna run back now grab the trailers and uh, start getting that emptied. And quite nice that this is a fast tractor. I would like to get one of these in the long term. I do like the vents. And I've not particularly used one in a Let's Play before, so I would like to get a uh, one of the Fence 700 series. I think it would be a really nice tractor on here. Decent amount of power, decent size for probably the sort of kit that we're going to be running for a while start delivering the crop at this point as well so i have heard from people on my discord that harvest contracts are not as generous as they were now we've gone to 1.3 and we're not going to get the huge excess of crop that we were getting which is slightly disappointing because one of the really nice things about doing harvesting contracts was that excess we would get because we don't have bale shredder yet i had a cunning plan use the loading wagon to pick up a, a load of straw to dump into the cow shed just to get them some straw to get them going i thought that would be a fairly sensible idea um just because it would be easy you know, we can tip it straight out of the loading wagon into the cow's beds um, that'll up our milk production which is obviously what straw does in fs22 it does not affect slurry or manure you've probably heard me say it loads of times if you're a regular watching my channel but People still don't seem to realize, so I'm going to keep saying it. That, you know, straw affects milk production by 11%, does not affect manure or slurry at all. And yeah, so we've got a few milk cows, so I thought I'd put it in anyway, and we're going to have lots of straw off this field. It is huge. Not looking forward to the task of baling it or clearing the bales for that matter. And we have still got our combine abandoned in the field from where we finished it with it with the harvest. And straw is obviously nice and light because we're not hitting the weight limit on the loading wagon. So realized that I'd left the Ford running. Turns out that you can't empty a trailer into the straw trigger on Calmston. And what we do is we manually unload this and then use a fork to bed the cows out or i did it in xml because that seems a bit silly that you can't do that and a fairly seamless edit there I had to pause part way through recording the commentary so you might be able to see that we have added the contracts hud which is just next to the base game hud on the left there and also the simple inspector which is sitting just under the hud um quite a cool little two quite cool little tools uh, the contracts HUD maybe has been overtaken by the fact that in 1.3 you get the occasional pop-up in-game for contract progress, but I quite like it. Um, and the simple inspector I use loads in FS19. It's really good if you've got a few things going on, because like where I'm disappearing off back to the yard whilst the combine works, I can keep an eye on how full it is, and we can get back over there before it gets too full. Yeah, so 
finally getting this thing recorded. Cracking on with some bailing. I have made a bit of a start already, um, just because there's lots to do. And so we are putting some extra hours on the fence that the uh, contract has provided us to get back to the yard to get some jobs done. I did a little bit of compacting the pit, but I've kind of given up on that. I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to do for that. I think I'm just going to have to spend a bunch of time sat, um, probably while watching TV, just running one of the tractors backwards and forwards over the pit to get that compacted. It's, it's going to take a while. Um, in future, we're going to have to be aware of that. Might do silage bales until we get a bigger tractor. I do really do want to play with the X tractor. Um, need to watch some videos of using it because I, I have literally never used it so um, I think it might be a, a fun thing to try out. I know Dakowin uses it but I tend to listen to his videos rather than watch them because I don't know I just find him quite therapeutic to listen to and sometimes frustrating because he does make a lot of mistakes. Perhaps you can just see a pop up there that the, uh, the contract is 71% complete and we can see that the, uh, the Zerion or well, the Lexion, sorry, is running at about 76% at the moment. So we are going to uh, jump back in the fence and head over and get that unloaded. Coming up to the end of the contract, it's got pretty late, so uh, not showing too much of it now. Um, I'm going to jump in the combine and finish off these last few bits that were missed and then we will get all this delivered and see how much we're going to make. As I think I've said, I am going to sell the excess crop directly because we're at about the peak price. We're not quite, but we're pretty close. Um, so I'm just going to sell it because we really need the cash. Um, we're going to get 29 grand, I think, for doing the contract and then whatever we get as an excess. Might as well take the harvester right into the sell point as it's there. A bit more to deliver. Um, so this, this contract does show that actually you need to deliver a lot more on a contract now. It used to be, from I always found it was 80% to complete, um, but it's really not. It's 94%. We've got 18,000 litres anyway, and we have made a decent amount of extra cash there. 20 grand plus the contract. Thanks for watching, folks. If you enjoyed the video, I will uh, see you next time. <laughs>